Tag, thank you. Every single day, drug enforcement officials in Greenville County say they can expect to respond to an overdose involving fentanyl. In 2021, nearly 200 of those overdoses were deadly. And now state lawmakers are confronting the crisis with bills in both the House and the Senate aimed at holding the people who are keeping fentanyl on our streets accountable. If somebody gives you something, they offer you something, and they tell you it's meth, they tell you it's heroin, they tell you it's cocaine, the reality is it's probably got something in there that can kill you. The amount of fentanyl the size of a couple of grains of salt can be deadly. Or something that can fit at the, the tip of a pencil uh, potentially could kill one person or two people. And you might not even know you're taking it. There's not really a way for people on the street, drug users, to know what might be in the drugs they're buying. Um, and and it's, a, it's a crisis. According to DHEC data, in 2021, 194 people died of fentanyl overdoses in Greenville County. This year, the Senate passed a bill creating the offense fentanyl-induced homicide. So basically, it's going after the dealer that sold the drugs with fentanyl in it. One drug enforcement investigator we spoke to, whose face we cannot show, says the drug crisis is now more dangerous than ever. Whether it's a pill that a friend gave you that said will help you with your pain, your headache, whether they're telling you it's a Xanax that's going to help you with your anxiety. If it didn't come from the doctor, you don't need to be taking it because you don't know what's in it. And it's more dangerous now than it's ever been in our, our country's history. Senator Ross Turner, a sponsor of Senate Bill 1, says when it comes to making laws that target drug dealers, the landscape is always changing. It's a moving target, but you got to make sure you got to try to take the dealers off the street and and at least get them aware that there are real consequences. Especially when every 24 hours, officials say there's a chance that someone could die from fentanyl. While we have this interview, I'd, I'd almost be willing to bet today we're going to have an overdose. And according to DHEC data, overall drug overdose deaths increased from about 1,700 to more than 2,100 from 2020 to 2021.